All right, guys, something uh, pretty rare and special today. Normally, I would probably turn off the cameras and, tr and just try to dissect this on my own, but I thought, let me taste this in front of the camera. Let's, let's have a little fun with this. We'll break it down and see if you guys can maybe guess what I'm drinking as I move along here. Now, the only clue I could tell you is that this is the oldest whiskey I have ever had, or I'm about to have. The age on this is 49 years old. Not that it was released 49 years ago, but this small one ounce sample <laughs> sat in a barrel for 49 years. Stick around to find out what it is. It's the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Mastin Drum. Welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, help grow the channel for 2023. Appreciate it, Whiskey Tube family. Okay, so as I mentioned, we are about to taste a 49 year old whiskey, a whiskey that sat in a barrel for 49 years. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna nose it, taste it, break down this whiskey to the best of my ability. It may suck, I don't know, <laughs> but I can tell you I spent $125 on this one ounce of whiskey uh, for one reason only. It's because of the distillery that it came from. Now, that may be a little bit of the clue. That's, actually, that'll be your first clue. Uh, but feel free to comment below as I'm tasting it and guess what it is before the reveal at the end. So I'm gonna pour this, let it air out a little bit, and before we dive in, let's hear about the sponsor for today's video, a new sponsor of the Mash and Drum, bringing sought after wines right to your front door. It's Bright Cellars. Wait, what, wine? Are we talking about wine right now? <laughs> That's right, when I'm not sipping whiskey, there's nothing to me like a really good red wine, especially with a steak or a pasta bolognese. So when I don't feel like looking around for wine or new wines because I'm looking at whiskey, I use Bright Cellars, the monthly wine club that personally matches you with wines that you will love. Exploring and searching for new wines can be a lot of standing around in an aisle looking at millions of bottles from different countries from a million different regions. Well, Bright Cellars takes the guessing game out of it for you. After a quick seven question quiz, Bright Cellars matches you with wines from all over the world, including hundreds that are exclusive just to them, curated for the flavors that you want. And if there's a wine that they match you with that still seems a bit off, they even give you options to substitute that bottle. Wine expert or wine novice, Bright Cellars has a wine to match your palate. One of my favorite features of Bright Cellars is that once your box arrives, you will receive these education cards that give you all the tasting notes and food pairing options for each wine that you receive. And don't worry, Bright Cellars is 100% satisfaction guaranteed, so if there's a wine you happen not to like, they will send you a replacement in your next box. So it really takes the guesswork out of finding new wines, and which is why I love Bright Cellars. I'm gonna have a sip of this. The black cherry really comes through on this. It's amazing with a steak, I'm telling you. All right guys, so here's the deal. Bright Cellars is giving all of my viewers, you out there, a limited time offer of $100 off of your subscription and a free wine tote. Get 100 plus varietals sourced from 80 plus wine regions delivered straight to your doorstep. So click the link in the description to take the quiz and get started today and get $100 off your subscription and a free wine tote. Thanks to Bright Cellars for supporting the Mash and Drum and thanks to you for making the sponsors happen. Now go get some Multiple Chano, Cabin 5. It's delicious. All right, so we're back. So first clue, I said this was, the reason why I bought this, uh, this sample was because of the distillery it was from. So obviously it's a distillery you guys know I'm interested in. Uh, secondly, let's look at the color. So for 49 years in a cask, um, this is pretty dark. I'm not gonna reveal the proof just yet. Maybe as I'm tasting it, maybe the, you know that will, as I'm describing it, maybe we'll, uh, maybe you guys can kind of guess what the proof would be. So let's get into the nose first and foremost and see what we get. Holy crap. Oh, man, this is, That is about as dark, dark fruit forward as it gets. There's like this leather varnish thing going on, which maybe you would expect for a whiskey this old. It's extremely jammy. It's uh, it's like raspberry, blackberry jam. I'm actually getting a lot of vanilla in it too, which is something I did not expect based on the description of the sample. I'm trying to wonder like what you guys are thinking right now, what this could be. Okay, 
Man, if you guys have ever smelled an, an aged tobacco leaf that's, you know, before it's rolled into a cigar, I'm totally getting that on the nose here. Crazy. But it's really intermingled with like all those like those dark fruit notes as I was mentioning. I mean, there's kind of, it's, it's a little bit raisiny, almost got like honey and dates on here as well. It's got like a little bit of an earthiness to it too, which I guess makes sense being, you know, 49 years old. 49 years old. This thing is is four four years older than I am. Just crazy. It's crazy to think of whiskey that old. And that still smells this good. I I was really like expecting this giant punch of I don't know, oak and and uh woodiness and and uh you know that earthiness is there, but I really thought the oak was going to overpower it, but it's not at all. It's it's got a lot of depth and fruit flavors going on. It just kind of knows this for days. This like should be a candle, basically. This should be like a whiskey candle. I think the one note that's blowing me away is this like this this vanilla note. It's almost got like this mocha latte coffee thing going on, where there's like the slightest hint of chocolate, not a lot. It's light. It's like a very very light mocha latte that you would get like at a you know Dunkin' or Starbucks or wherever the hell you know people get your coffee these days. Man, that thing is all over the place. Very, very sweet and rich on the nose. Not what I expected so far, um, you know, from a nose standpoint, but let's give it a try. 49 year old whiskey, down the hatch, here we go. That is, what? All right, so <laughs> how do I describe this? So the proof of this is misleading. It comes off a little bit thin on the palate, yet creamy and rich with a lot of depth to it, especially in the front of the palate, immediately. Man, a lot of those flavor, a lot of those flavors I was getting on the nose are really coming through on the front of the palate. It's, again, it's like that earthy, but jammy, like blackberry raspberry type of jamminess to it. Need another sip of that. This is so not oaky to me at all. This is all flavor. I mean, a 49 year old whiskey. You guys like trying to figure out the clues here yet? You're trying to figure out what it is? It's got a sneaky, spicy, savory finish to it as well. I'm getting like clove here on the back end of it to kind of go along with like that earthy tobacco note. But man, the front of the palate is just all jammy. It is jammy and, and like dark honey too. It's like a spiced like blackberry tea with honey in it. And... It's thin, yet it's rich at the same time. This is not what I expected at all from, uh, from this whiskey. This is, this is really interesting to try. I'm just like savoring this. It's actually very bright for something this old. Like I said before, not a lot of oak to it. Um, again, that, that like punch of vanilla that, that I'm getting is crazy. I did not expect that at all. It's not super oaky, yet you would think it is. Um, it's malty. But all these flavors, you would think something being in the cask for this long would actually, flavors would start to try to overpower one another, and that's not the case here. They're actually all intermingling really well together. And I think that's the most impress the that's the most impressive part about what I'm tasting here. The lack of oak, that I'm getting, I think is the most surprising um, because you are getting all these, this mix of sweet spice and age. The, the age is coming through without it being too overly oaked. So just crazy. Running low already. All right, so front of the palate, again, it's very creamy, yet it's, you know, somewhat thin and not a lot of heft to it, yet it's super silky and creamy. All right, so 
can kind of play off of that. I said it's malty. I said it's very fruit forward. You get like that blackberry spice tea. There's some dark honey to it. Again, I get like that mocha vanilla latte thing on the mid palate. Then on the back end, it's like kind of that leather varnish type, you know, feel to it. And then all of a sudden it, it goes into like a sweet, like a sweet aged tobacco leaf on the back end. A little bit of spice. There's some savoriness that I get on here and it comes in, it's coming in the form of like clove. Um, I'm, I'm looking for baking spices. I'm not really getting cinnamon or anything, but clove is the, is the note that's actually standing out to me here. And somehow for 49 years, it's the maltiness from this specific distillery is somehow still coming through. All right. So I gave some good clues along the way. All right, so let's go down the checklist and see what this could be. So first and foremost, this is a single malt scotch. This is a scotch. So if you guys, I did say maltiness. So if you guys guessed scotch, good point for you. Now, this was barreled in 1968, bottled in 2018. Now, I know the math kind of works out to 50 years. However, it was, I think it was bottled just before it hit that 50 year mark from when it was barreled to when it was bottled. So technically it's still 49 years old. Now proof on this, I said it was kind of thin. So if you guys guessed low proof, if you guessed it was somewhere in the, uh, you know, you know, maybe low eighties, did you think it was that low? This is 42.1% ABV. So it's only 84.2 proof. So it's not a high proof on this at all. All right, so next let's get into the maturation. Now, from what I was describing, if you guessed that this was a sherry matured single malt scotch, then you were right. This is exclusively in sherry. This was matured for 49 years in a sherry butt, which is crazy. So what's the bottle? It came from an independent bottler named Malts of Scotland. The bottling series is called Warehouse Diamonds. The distillery, if you guys guessed Bunahaven, you are right and you win the golden goose. <laughs> Apparently there was only 167 bottles of these made. Here's the, uh, the picture of the bottle that I found online. This is what it actually looks like. Um, as I said, I paid $125 to try a sample of this. When I heard that there was a, uh, a Bunahaven that was out there, uh, that was 49 years old, almost 50 years old. I said, that is something I'm going to have to try. This was an absolute hell of an experience. I do got to thank my buddies, uh, Mike and Dustin over at Top Shelf Whiskey for um, offering up this sample when it became offered to them. They said, Hey Jason, we know you love Bunahaven. Why don't you uh, give this a try? If you don't mind paying the 125, I'm like, dude, I am all over that. So thanks to them. You guys could check out their channel. Um, and damn gonna, I have a little bit left that I'm just gonna sit back here and enjoy. All right, guys, I well, hope you enjoyed this fun test <laughs> as we, uh, the, we sip this 49 year old Bunahaven, which is absolutely incredible. I'm, <laughs> The more I'm tasting this guy, I mean, it's coffee, that mocha, the vanilla, the fruitiness. This thing's pretty crazy, man. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know down in the comments if you guessed right to any of the uh, any of the clues. And if uh, what you know, let me know what the oldest whiskey you guys have had is. Um, always interested in hearing your thoughts. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey; it's the people you share with, like this 49-year-old Bunahaven. So, cheers! See you next time, right here on the Mass and Drum. Take care, guys.